Welcome to Bonehead Truckers. This video is brought to you by TRC Freight, home of free medical. For more information, go to trcandme.com. So blocking the fuel islands, blocking the fuel islands, my biggest pet peeve out there of all time, blocking fuel islands. This video is a compliment, a compliment, compliment, compilation of people blocking fuel islands, okay, and the response and the brain dead folks that are out there. These videos stem back from the Bonehead Truckers of the Week videos all the way back to when I started Bonehead Truckers back in 2011. So you got clips of me filming these guys and then uh, what you guys are sending in. Uh, and, and don't let me forget, contact at boneheadtruckers.com. If you have clips, videos you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. Okay, now let's get to the content, okay? Check out this guy. He's sitting there playing on his phone. He's sitting there in a fuel island. When you got someone back here waiting to get some fuel. But he's playing on his phone. Slap nuts up here. See, this guy's been here for about 20 minutes, but the real bonehead is this guy. Oh, Martin Transport right here. I guess he went to go use the bathroom. Wanted to just hog it up. Oh, there he is. He's coming to his truck. up everything. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting on this guy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm bucking up. Just want to get in here. All right. I thank you. You'll be on YouTube. Bonehead truckers. Oh, you could have parked back there. You know. Yeah. He's yeah. You know what they say about excuses. This guy right here. This bonehead trucker. Now, his truck is running. Are you gonna pull out? All right, that's you? What are you talking about? Uh, when I pulled up behind you, right, you weren't fueling. Look at this guy, look at this. Look at that, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Huh? What happened there? I don't know what happened. So, so I think that guy right there. After him. Yeah, he drove around because you weren't fueling. After him. After him. After him. Right, right. So. When they pull out, I go up. Right, right. But, but see, here's the thing. I'm that guy. Right, but see, when I pulled up behind you, when I pulled up behind you, right? You weren't fueling, you were just sitting in your truck. And I waited and waited and waited. And then I got pissed off, so I said, fuck it. I drove all the way around and parked in front of you so you couldn't go anywhere. That's a bonehead trucker. Bonehead trucker. Bonehead trucker. Bonehead trucker. You're a bonehead. So. Fuck them boneheads, right? So fuck it. I drove around the fuel aisle and I backed up in front of him. I backed up in front of him, okay? To ruin his day now. So now I'm gonna put some antifreeze, you know, some windshield washer fluid in my truck. I'm gonna make a sandwich and make him wait. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so there's the bonehead trucker. Now he gotta back out. Look at him. Looky, looky, looky. Part two of part one. Teaching a bonehead trucker to fuck off. Blocking the fuel off.
Is that you? My boy. Did you get your soda water and cheeseburger? Yeah. Did you get your soda water and cheeseburger? Cheeseburger? No. No soda water? No, no. No cheeseburger? No. You won. Congrats. You're going to be on. Congratulations. You're going to be on Bonehead Truckers. You're going to be a trucker? Yeah. You're gonna, you won. You'll be famous. I know. That's it's a busy. Thanks for blocking. Now make a U turn. Next time you gotta get a cheeseburger. Oh, shame on the mess. They're blocking fuel islands up here again. Look at old JB Hunt right up in here and say, hey, I gotta go inside and go teet teet. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, you know. And now look at old Swifty Swift. Not only he's blocking one, he's blocking two because. He had to go get him something from the deli at the Flying J. All right, that's just how Swifty Swift and JB Hunter are doing it. Should have put something up underneath there. But anyways, um, check out this guy. He blocking the fuel island for a cheeseburger. He got him a cheeseburger. He's more important than you there, truck driver. You ain't got to worry about it, okay? Because that cheeseburger sure is important. That cheeseburger sure is important. Here we go, another moron. Another moron sitting there, gotta go inside and go poo poo or whatever the crap this guy's doing blocking the fuel island. Here's a simple thing. Get your fuel, pull up. And if there's someone still in front of you and you're done fueling, get back in your truck and wait for him to move. That's simple. And then pull up. Spot right there. Right over there. Maybe he went to go get him a shower. What do you think? You think maybe he went to go get him a shower? I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, I don't understand. You boneheads, let me know. Because I know most drivers that have common sense don't do stuff like this. So this guy, or this lady gets to go. Man, kind of jealous here. Oh, what do you know? Is this the guy? Is this the guy? Hang on, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's the guy. Oh, yeah. Let's go get us a... Go get, make sure we get a bunch of food. Bunch of food. Just go ahead. We're gonna take the time. No one's waiting. No one's waiting. No one's got to work. We go ahead and get your food. Watch this guy get up in there, man. This guy's gonna have a heart. Oh my gosh. Look how hard that guy's trying to get up in this son of a bitch. My word. Dude, you do not need a cheeseburger. You have had enough, sir. You have had enough. Oh my gosh, that guy's having a hard time. Wow. Hey, I want you to listen to this. Listen to the dog. You tell him. Uh oh, he's backing up. Listen. Oh, you listen. Oh gosh. Uh. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. Absolutely useless. This is what I'm talking about. No one in front of him getting fuel. And this guy wants to uh, block up the whole whole thing here. Whole progress. Someone said I won't do this, but I'm going to just to prove y'all wrong. Hey driver, I want to thank you for being inconsiderate, not somebody pulling up. Was parked there, somebody was Someone was parked him. there. Yes. They're not there now. Well, he's got in the fucking truck. Why wait? I couldn't go nowhere. You couldn't go nowhere. One truck there, one truck in front of him. Look at all this parking spots. Look at all these parking I'm spots. Get fuel. Getting fuel? Don't you look don't like it to me. Yourself. Yeah, you know what? You're the problem with trucking. 
You are the problem with trucking. Going backwards. You oh, I'm sure. Forward. Look at it. Look how consi you know considerate you are. I'll sit right here and fucking eat. I'm sure you will, because you're inconsiderate. Yeah, and you're a fucking no. asshole. Oh, yeah? yeah? I sure am. You're I expose people asshole. like you. I expose people like you. That's what I do. Here, take my pencil. Oh, Hi. yeah? Hi. You got you. That's... What are you going to do? Put you on YouTube. Wait at everybody. You YouTube. You suck, YouTube. Okay. All right. Got you. Appreciate it. Oh, he's leaving now. Then give fuel. I mean, you guys actually do a really good job at doing it yourself, like these next few cats. There's an asshole who sits in a fuel aisle. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> Wanna talk about bonehead truckers? Here's a bonehead. Here's a bonehead. Blocking up your fuel aisle. Another bonehead. Look, there's another bonehead. Four deep. He had to go. He had to go. Oh, security. You holler to me? Huh? No, I was taking a picture, a video of these boneheads out here blocking the video, all the uh, fuel aisles, you know? I know, that's what I'm saying, man. It's going on bonehead trackers. You ever see that video? YouTube channel? Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See what kind of other boneheads we got. Oh, he's in his truck. I see his arm. Hey y'all, oh, look at this bonehead. Man, there's like eight feet. There's like eight feet. Woo! Look at these boneheads. Oh yeah. He's gonna run me over if I didn't get out of the way. All right, he's a ferner. He's a ferner. And look at all these guys parked up beside the scale house. Oh my goodness. There goes our winner. Come on, dude. Come on, man, really? I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. Ah, come on, man. If you're gonna do all that, just park next time. Damn. Boy, look at him. He got his, he's got his big old mug, battered tater chips, I don't know what else. All he's missing is a freaking cheeseburger and he'd have it set all the way. Look at this guy, old fella, all full of excuses. And then we got this old fella right here washing his trailer. Washing his trailer with a squeegee. All right, yeah, that's the same squeegee you're trying to wash your windshield and you're trying to figure out how come I got all these streaks, these scratches. Yeah, this guy's like this. I guess he's thinking he's at the streak and bacon or something. Yeah, that looks really good right there. Look, <laughs> he can't even reach to the top. You need another few feet right there. Look, now he's got a cup. He don't have any food in his hand, so he went there and sat down and ate got his cup coming out and there's his buddy right there yep there's old bob right there wow they sat in there and he coming back out now yeah that's what he gets right there i would go holler at him but i'm guessing at the look time they probably don't speak english so what they're going to do to holler so yeah there's your ball head truck Yeah, that was him just coming out. He saw me filming, so he went the other way. Oh, I got a surprise for him. Really, dude? 20 minutes. I've been standing here waiting on you. 20 minutes. you blocking me in. It takes 50. Well, you know what? That's why they got that huge parking lot for. 
Dude, you looked right at me when you got out of your truck. Don't tell me that. And this will be going on Bonehead Truckers. That's your own business, huh? That's your own business. It, it is my business when you're stopping me from doing my job. That damn Bonehead Truckers. Look at this. Absolutely no respect for other drivers. Oh, shame on the mess. What's with these freaking truck drivers? Are, are we that freaking broke these days where we can't afford no truck wash? Why are we washing a truck in a truck stop fuel aisle? It's beyond me. Never in my life have I ever, ever washed my truck all right, with a squeegee in a fuel aisle. Ever, ever. Are we that freaking broke you can't go by the street and beacon? Are we that freaking broke? I mean, for crying out loud, and those things don't get your truck clean because it's already dirty water. Those, the squeegees are made for your for your windows and your mirrors. All right, windows, your, your windshield. You wonder how come, man, you know, you get up to a fuel island, it's like, man, this thing's all torn up, and you're sitting there, it's like, man, you know the reason why it's torn up, and it's not because of windshields. These freaking boneheads washing their truck. This guy's washing the inside of his freaking truck with a squeegee, a window squeegee. For crying out loud. Bunch of broke truck drivers. Welcome, another bonehead truckers. Guess what we got here? Ha ha ha, Swift does it again. First time Swift made the bonehead truckers. I'm sure some of you steering wheel holders saying, what, what's the matter with that? Hang on, you see me right here? I'm waiting. I'm waiting, there's other trucks over there waiting. This guy decides to go inside the store. And look at that. Didn't I do a bonehead truckers video on this here about a year or so ago I guess this guy didn't watch that must be them uh, look at here there's no uh, nobody here right there's nobody here there's nobody in this line right here this fuel pump this fuel line here to pilot there's nobody there see there's nobody there's nobody you wanna know why because this fella right here, I don't know what he had to do. He went inside, right there. He gonna plug everything up. So guess what? He gets to be put on YouTube. Brilliant truck driver. And I'm gonna film him as he comes out. Here he goes. Probably been there for 30, 45 minutes. He was there way before I got there. He's going to pull up now. Yeah. That's how we do things. There we go. That's... That's man. Hey, well, guess what? You're on YouTube, man. You're on YouTube. Say hello. Say hello to YouTube. Say hello. Hello to YouTube, MBT Transport, YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Do you know there's plenty of places back there to park, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that makes that makes plenty of sense if you're stupid. What do we have here? Couple of guys in there going to the bathroom with each other. Alright, that's what they're doing. Holding hands to the urinal. Of course, we got this guy over here. I think he wanted to get involved too. Like, hey, I want to go party with y'all. I want to go party. I want to go party. That looks fun. Let's go potty together. Let's all of us go potty together. So they all got together here and they go go poo poo together. Go to the urinal together. Okay. Meanwhile, the rest of us are having to wait on them to go 
play their little circle jerk at the urinal. Okay? That's what we're having to do. Having to wait on him. Shame on the mess. I mean, look at me. I went to go park my truck right here, you know, because I'm gonna go in and take a shower. I'm not gonna go park at no fuel island and take no day gum shower. I'm gonna park right here, just like I did right here. Shame on the mess. I work for Swift. Blocking the fuel line. This you? Why are you blocking the fuel line? You're gonna end up on bonehead truckers, you know that, right? Yeah, my fault. Your fault. When you go get McDonald's, you're supposed to go park, not block a fuel lane. That's key. Blocking fuel lane. Pilot. Battle Creek, Michigan. You gotta block the fuel lane to go get McDonald's? You gotta go and block the fuel lane to get McDonald's? And McDonald's. So what? You're blocking the fuel lane. I'm trying to and leave. I got fuel and I got gas. And then you went in and got McDonald's. So fucking what? Everybody does. You're going to be on bonehead truckers. I don't care. 377. For MHC. For destination character. Uh-huh. Blocking the fuel lane here at Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm going to say you for that nice character, blah, 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 blah. How you like, how you like them Crocs? Uh, that's pretty good. Huh? They're pretty good. Pretty good. No, I'm talking about your Crocs. Oh, 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 oh. Man, awesome. Awesome. Don't use, don't use all that shoes. Do something. Yeah, but real truck drivers don't wear Crocs or flip-flops. Oh, man. That's best for you if you're driving. No. Yeah. No. You see, most of the drivers wear them right now. No. Yeah, most of the real, drivers. Real truck drivers don't wear uh, flip flops or Crocs. Drive all day. They, they oh, wear, oh, oh. You never, you never seen bonehead truckers? Oh yeah. Bonehead truckers. Don't wear no socks. No Crocs and socks, man. They're a bad combo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna end up on bonehead truckers one day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I wear them every day. Wear them every day? Yeah. Why? Congratulations, you're going to be on Ballhead Truckers. Trucker. Laramie, Wyoming, Bonehead Trucker, blocking up the fuel lane. Yes, sir, e Bobby, Bonehead Trucker. I'm going to squeeze in on this one that didn't finish pulling up. Perfect. You know, you think I can make that? Uh, yeah, I can make that. Well, no, it's going to be crooked because you're not going to be able to back up. Uh, yeah, I got this. 